Hey everybody, so we are almost done with MP2 and um, unfortunately, maybe for you, uh, what you have left to do is like really the least scaffolded part. So I don't have a lot to say about this. There's a write-up in today's lesson and your job is just to, to, to finish, finish the work. Um, this is, you know, one of the most self-contained parts of the project in the sense that, you know, it's one file, one class, and it's building on concepts and ideas that we've talked about in the past. But, but let me, I'll give you a few hints just, just, just for fun. So, you know, my suggestion is that you do most of the work for this method in the constructor. Um, so, for example, my class, uh, what, I, what I'm going to uh, do here is I'm going to say, I'm going to uh, create a map uh, called Restaurant Relationships. Um, and this is going to be, um, what am I doing, Jeff? I'm, I'm declaring things, I'm writing Kotlin code, and I'm doing a Java walkthrough. It's not good. Um, all right, so I'm going to create my map from strings to a map from strings to integer. Um, and I'll create that, and I can just, you know, uh, create a new hash map here. Uh, that'll sort of get everything imported for me. And then my job in the constructor is populate the restaurant. Uh, whoop, again, my inability to spell restaurant spikes again. Populate that map. Um, there's going to be some code in here, maybe you know, 10, 20 lines of code in order to take your list of restaurants, take your list of preferences, and work through things so that you build the map properly. Now, if you do build the map properly, what you can do down here is the following. So you can say, uh, let's see, uh, I'll say, um, uh, I'll call. So what I'm going to get out of here is I'm going to get a map from string to integer return map is equal to um, uh, restaurant relationships dot get restaurant ID. Now, now remember, it's possible this returns null, but I'm not supposed to return null from this. I'm supposed to return an empty map. So what I'll do is I'll say if return map uh, not equal to null, then I'll return, return I'll return that map, else return a uh, new hash map, right? And this should be able to build things uh, for me. And it's, what is it saying here? Uh, oh, okay. I guess there's another option here that you could use. So, so anyway, but this is what I would suggest, right? Is to just, you know, take, uh, do all the work up here, um, and then your get related method can really look almost pretty much like this, right? If it's null, uh, or, or uh, else you return uh, an empty hash map. Um, so good luck. I mean, this is, you know, about the level of some of the homework problems that we've done recently. So, you know, it's really not over your head. There's a couple of things you need to read and, and look at carefully in the description. And as always, you know where to find us when you need help. Good luck. This is your last bit to do before break.